Thomas, were you in the jail or the prison the entire time you were you were at Terrazin? No, actually, uh, about two or three weeks after we arrived uh, and we stayed in the jail area, we were then transported to, to the town of Terrazin, which was set up with barracks. And these, these barracks were three-storey buildings with rooms for all the soldiers, but they were never used, but they were in a filthy uh, condition. We, we were transported to a room. Our room was the room on the top floor, on the, on the third floor, and it was in uh, Railway Street, uh, and it, it faced the trains that were coming in with, with the people to the camp. Our room was absolutely putrid. It, it had bed bugs in the, in the beds. There were fleas. The windows were broken. The little potbelly stove didn't work. And it was horrible. There were nine... Uh, there were 12 women in our room. Nine of them were pregnant and three of them were not. And they sort of organised themselves. The pregnant women didn't have to go to work and the, um, the ones that weren't pregnant had to work and they got themselves onto a onto the food preparation department so that they could steal food for us. But the room was in a horrible state and my mother, God forbid that I should say that she was pushy, my mother said, we can't live like this, I'm going to get our room fixed up. Well, I mean, I wasn't very clever at the age of six, but I knew that if you argued with the guards or the or the management there, you'd get into trouble. But my mother grabbed me by the hand and we went to the adjutant's room. She was a lady. I forget her name, but she looked like a bullfrog. I remember it. Big fat lady with a very, very ugly face. And my